Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video today we're going to talk about the different types of primal movement training and the advantages of each. At the end we will review the Animal Flow System, a primal movement training program developed by Mike Fitch. Primal movements can refer to different things to different people, but in the context of this video I'm referring to any movement that is either A, natural to the development of basic human functionality, or B, any movement that mimics other animal species. Primal movements are often very useful in day-to-day -day life, not something you would only use in a gym atmosphere. Outside of their practical nature, these movements are also explorations into the unknown abilities of the mover, not to mention a ridiculous amount of fun. I mean, it's basically playtime for adults, and the only side effect is you get in tremendous shape. In fact, I dare you to have more fun or get a better workout than a 30 minute game of animal movement soccer on a sunny day with some friends. It can't be done. Let it go. Natural human movement refers to just one category of primal movement training. The movements in this category are all natural to the normal functioning of the human animal. Imagine all the movements an infant has to go to to eventually develop into a fully functional adult later in life. For instance, in order to walk, every child must first strengthen his or her hips, torso, and shoulders through crawling. This means that crawling is hardwired into every human body out there. It's genetic, it's instinctive, and it's natural in the course of a human life. Because of this, crawls and other floor-based quadrupedal movements are all highly effective body weight strength builders and excellent at creating the type of full body integrated strength that comes in so useful for advanced movement. Also included in this category of movements are walks, runs, carries, hangs, uh, climbs, and so on. All of these movements together give you access to almost every environment on the planet when properly developed. Some programs based on these kinds of natural human movements are Erwin LaCour's MoveNet or George Hibbert's Natural Method developed in the early 1900s. As different as we are from most other animal species, we are also surprisingly similar. For instance, if you crawl on your hands and your knees, your lower legs are left unused and you have limited strength and functionality. But raise the knees up off the ground a little bit and put the weight on the balls of your feet. Now you load the muscles of the foot, the ankle, and the calf and increase the mobility and speed of the entire body. Your structure basically resembles the structure of other quadrupedal animals. And after the initial learning and conditioning phase, you will be shocked at how much you can actually move like them. These movements are a really fun way to explore what's possible with your own body. And think of all the things the body is capable of that we don't get to experience simply because we never spend the time to try them. How many movement choices do you have when you want to express yourself or when you choose to react? Are you limited to walking, running, and maybe some basic jumps and lifts? Or are you an omnidirectional mover Someone who is capable of moving with confidence on your legs or all fours, solid on your feet or inverted on your hands, capable of moving in all directions with a multitude of creative choices in each direction. Take my word for it, animal movements are one of the absolute best ways to start this exploration and expansion of your natural ability to move and express yourself. Animal Flow is a primal movement program designed by bodyweight training expert Mike Fitch, founder of Global Bodyweight Training. The program is designed to develop the strength, conditioning, and skill necessary to progress through many levels of ground-based movement patterns. For instance, there are ground-based movements designed to give you a forward-leaning quadrupedal strength, which is necessary in animal runs like the traveling ape and bodyweight exercises like inverts, tucks, and planches. This feels a little unnatural in the beginning because we aren't used to loading the shoulders with much of the body's mass. Yet it's something that we are all perfectly capable of and it quickly opens up a whole new world of movement experience. Another movement pattern strengthened by the Animal Flow program is a forward launch from the upper body. This is a type of strength that gives rise to one of my all-time favorite ground-based movements, the ground calm. It's basically the closest experience a human being can have to being an actual gorilla. And it should be on the bucket list of every serious movement junkie out there. Well, anyway, that's it for this video. If you want to see more, just click subscribe. If you're interested in the Animal Flow program or you want to attend a workshop or maybe even get certified to train it, then I'll go ahead and post a link down below in the description box. Feel free to leave comments or questions. Enjoy your day. And as always, keep moving everyone.